Hey everyone, welcome to this week's 2 minutes Tuesday. We are going to look into Azure bicep params. Let's get started. So parameters have minimal declaration. You just have to mention the name and what type it is and you can specify the value. So that way we can reuse parameters uh, across the template. Let's look into an example here. So the first one here you see is a demo string. Um, the parameter name is demo string and then the type is string. You have integer, boolean, um, object and array. You can have multiple different uh, types declared. So the next one we are looking into is our decorators and typically decorators are used for uh, description or uh, you could use that to make a particular parameter as a secure string. Next one, secure parameters as it mentions. Uh, object or a string can be made as secure so that way these strings are not stored part of your logs and they stay as secured. Next one commonly used is allowed values. So when you want to restrict certain values to a particular uh, bicep template when it's being created, in this case I'm uh, you know restricting the location to be either East US or West US. So whenever they're creating or using this location it will only allow you to give these two values. Default value. So whenever you're declaring a particular parameter, you want to initialize with the default value. In our example, we were uh, initializing uh, the location with East US and the SKU for the storage account, we were using standard LRS. Length constraints. Um, the storage account name, you want to keep it between three and 24, like a min length and a max length. The same goes with the uh, names here. Uh, if you want to have an array, of uh, storage names and you can go with minimum length and maximum length. Integer constraints, it's a similar thing, uh, min value and man max value if you give some 10 things. For example, this would be a good scenario when you want to create number of storage accounts, you could start with one or maximum of 12 at the same time and use these values when you're creating it. Object as parameters is something uh, very commonly used uh, when you want to create a storage settings object. In this case, I'm giving a fixed name, a location as East US, and then we are giving a SKU as standard LRS. So using a parameter here, um, so like the previous example we saw, uh, the storage name uh, as a string and the storage settings is an object uh, with multiple properties and you can see how that's being utilized. So directly I'm using that as a storage settings dot location or a, a regular string variable storage name, I'm directly using that. A complex object like a skew, which is like a two level. So in that case, I'm using it as a storage setting dot skew dot name. That's all for this week, and I uh, will come up with another topic in next week. Thank you for watching. <laughs>